Hey family, it's Logan Renee, and I am here to talk about five ways to be a genuine friend because kind of got it wrong a lot. So um, friendship is something that I've taken the time to like try to understand, you know, study, ask my friends for feedback, you know, just trying to understand more and um, be the friend that I want to receive back, you know being that person instead of expecting somebody else to be that for me and it's like when you just go ahead and you become a genuine friend you attract genuine friends so these are a couple things that i learned and just something for you all to consider uh the first one i learned is to be a friend first you know if you want genuine connections with people then genuine connections have to be created and they have to be maintained that's something that is so true because really our friends are our mirrors. You know, they just mirror back to us, you know, pieces of ourselves, parts of ourselves, actions that we would take, you know, thinking how we think about certain things. Sometimes our friends would do the exact same things. You know, that's, that's why we're friends, you know, but for a relationship to last, a relationship has to be invested in, you know, I always want us to be the friend that does not go ghost when I get in a relationship, you know, like, Girl, where Mary at? I don't know. You know, Jim back in her life, so she don't call, she don't text, you know. And then I, I never want to be that friend. You know, I'm only calling you because, you know, I broke up with him. And, you know, I'm really hurt right now and I'm going through something and I need you now. You know, but when I graduated or when, you know, I had my first child or whatever, you know, you weren't there for me. But, you know, all of a sudden... Now you need a friend. You know, I never wanted to be, you know, that person. So the first thing that I have learned is to be a friend first. And that's what I draw back to myself. The second thing that I learned is pass the test that your friendships will grow through. Not go through, grow through. Because they're going to be hills, they're going to be valleys, they're going to be tough conversations that you're going to have to have. That's uncomfortable. And, you know, nobody wants that nobody wants to feel like, you know, their best friend is mad at them. <laughs> I know I don't like it. You know, we've been on the phone crying, like crying, hard tears. I'm like, y'all, this relationship harder than, you know, the one with my man, you know, like why, <laughs> why is this so tough? You know, but when you love people, you genuinely care about their rise. Like you want to see them win. You want to be a part of their story. You know, you want to be a part of their family's life. You want to go to their family reunions because you consider them family. You know, this is how you know you really close. Like you got their mama number and their daddy number two. Like you hitting up the whole family. Like where is Jessica? I have not talked to her in five weeks. You know, where's your daughter? You know, that's when you really know, like, we have a, 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 a true connection, you know. But pass those hills and those valleys with that person because they're going to be some. They're going to be some difficult seasons. It's going to be some difficult conversations. But if you love that person, and this is something that I say now before a tough conversation with a friend. I say at the end of this conversation, I still want her to be my best friend. I still want her to be my best friend. Even if we hash it out, I still want her to be my best friend. And it really kind of like, it's the driver of the conversation that changes stuff. Something that I definitely want to implement before a tough, a tough conversation consistently, because I don't do it every single time, is praying before I have a tough conversation with somebody. I think that would help too. Um, another thing that I learned is to ch continuously choose to see the best of that person. You know, there was a reason why we became friends. There's a reason why we have a connection, we have a relationship, the reason why we vibe so well. That's very important to, to put in the forefront of a conversation or just being around the friend. You know, there's a reason why I love you. There's a reason why I want you in my life and letting that be the driver, you know, the relationship. And then being interested in their growth because you're going to grow in different ways. You're going to grow at different seasons. You know, it's not going to be the same. They may not like reading books. That doesn't mean that we should cast them off or like, like, I don't want to be a friend no more. You know, they may not like audio. They may like going to seminars or they may have their own way of growth. It shouldn't be measured by if I grow this way, you should grow this way too. And that's just not the truth because everybody's going to grow differently. You just want to grow together. Um, something else that I learned is Show up for the hard, hard moments. 
Um, I learned, you know, who was truly, truly close to me when I lost my mother. So many people showed up for me. I was like, it was like my cup runneth over. People were just coming out the woodworks, you know, like I'm here for you. You know, I'm praying for you, you know, like genuinely like showing up, you know, when we needed them most, like helping clean out my mom's home. Like that was huge. That was huge for me, you know, show up in those hard moments for people that you really consider, you know, close to close to you. Um, the last thing and something that I love, I kind of love, kind of like, kind of don't. Um, I say about 60, 40. I say 60, like 40, I don't. <laughs> but it's so necessary, okay? Be willing to be called out. Be willing to be called out by your friends. Because they might see something that you don't see. And it doesn't have to be a bad call out. Like, girl, don't wear that head wrap to work. You look a mess. <laughs> you look, you look a fool. Don't, don't, don't wear that, you know? And they could be saying with shade, they could be saying it in love, but since they, they are so focused on your rise and they genuinely care about you and they want the absolute best for you, be like, okay, you're right. I look a mess. <laughs> and keep it smiling, keep it moving, you know, because you get to go to work looking good, you know, because your friends were honest, like, girl, don't wear that, <laughs> you know? Some people be hating. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about genuine friends who um, wish and want the best for you. Listen to them. Take their advice. Because what's so funny is women, we are always giving advice. But as soon as somebody say something to us, it's like, you know, we got a little attitude. Don't have no attitude. Be like, thanks, boo. I appreciate it. You know, I know you love me. So, you know what? I'll take that. I'll receive that. So those are my five tips that I've learned on how to be a genuine friend. I think it's a process. I think it's something you have to continuously work on. You know, I asked one of my friends, I said, how would you rate our friendship? You know, would it be a seven, an eight? I heard a, a couple did this. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should do it in my friendship. You know, rate our friendship. Like, how do you think I'm doing it as a friend? You know, and she gave me her honest answer. And it's something I have to work towards, you know. So I would say, ask your friends. Like, how would you rate your friendship? And be completely honest, you know. I think we're a four. You know, I don't like when you don't return my phone calls. You know, I called you so we could talk, you know. Or, you know, I genuinely want to know what's going on with the kids. I really care about what's going on with you at work, you know. It, it is a conversation to have, tough conversation. But like I said, if you love the person, go ahead and have that conversation. Um, give me um, a couple different things that you learn from this video, comment below and tell me some something that you picked up on that you want to implement or something that you're already doing in your friendships. Make sure you comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Logan Renee channel. I want to get to know you all and I want to know who's watching the videos. So I'll know that by the comments and I will see you all in another video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.